Look at the puppy. I'm a honey bee, not a child. This is Nick's local skate park, Santa Paula Skate Park. It's just a big bowl with like a couple little obstacles and some ledges up there. I'm gonna film and do some warm-up tricks and then we're gonna go hit some street spots. This dude already got the Shane O'Neill Pro models. They've been out for what, like two days? Oh my god, you have to stomp it like that. He said he's gonna Benny Hanna over it. I've never seen him do a Benny Hanna. Oh my god! You brought that up to your balls. <laughs> oh my god! We're here at this buttery ass ledge at Ventura College. I'm gonna try my best to back tail it. That's my goal for today. I do back tails a lot, but I've never like held a long one like this. I'm kind of forced to hold my tricks on this ledge because of the dirt gap in the middle. I could do that for a mile, dog. I heard they give you tickets to the school if they catch you skating, so we should probably dip. So I've always wanted to skate into a pool, like actually do tricks into it. And it just so happens that there's a pool right here next to the spot. So I don't know, I think I'm gonna have to jump this fence, maybe skate off that diving board right there. Ooh, that water's probably cold, dog. I even brought an extra spare complete just in case the pool wasn't covered. Because sometimes I come here and the pool has like a cover on top. Nah, it's not even that cold. Yo, this looks so scary. Bro, <laughs> oh my god. I know it's above water, but I'm scared of heights. I've told you guys that before. And this diving board's hella bouncy. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to pop off of it. Hey, does that say three feet? <laughs> it looks so scary. Hey, is my board gonna float or sink? I think I'm gonna do it with all my clothes on. Bro, I hope it's one of those things that like, after I do it the first time, it's easier to go for. And I'm not like regretting I went for it. Ooh, I need to just do it, bro. Wait, let me get a roll up. How are you gonna roll up? <laughs> Dude, it's pretty warm. It's not even cold. What am I scared of? <laughs> Dude, that was so scary. That was a fail. I didn't even get to stay on the board. I feel heavy because all my clothes are just soaked. It's like, I feel heavy. <laughs> I probably look stupid as fuck right now. So as soon as I bent my knees, the diving board went <laughs> So I'm just gonna try to stay on the board and just kind of hop to see if the board like sticks to my feet. I'm not gonna pop it, obviously. I'm gonna do it like that, like a little bounce. You're going up that so slow. <laughs> Does that count? <laughs> Dude, this is so tiring. This is harder than actual skating. It was at this moment I knew I can't hard flip off a diving board. Bro, that hurt so bad. That was fun. No, that was actually really fun. I wish the diving board was actually like stable so I could actually pop off of it. I feel like I could have done more tricks if it was. I think I'm done skating for the rest of the day. I don't recommend doing this. <laughs> don't try this at home. 
I don't want them thinking of my case. I'm adding my Instagram to her phone. Are you gonna make me keep it after? <laughs> You're gonna find all my stuff. I asked you guys to ask me and my girlfriend questions on my Instagram story. I haven't even read them yet, but they're all gonna be like sexual. <laughs> <laughs> when and did you meet she? We met on April 9th, nine months ago, 10 months ago, at McDonald's where we both used to work. We didn't work at the same time though. No, but I when quit I in November and then he started in December. Okay, they didn't ask that. <laughs> Just kidding. Someone said, when's the marriage? <laughs> I got a special video coming in about three months. Shut <laughs> Just up. kidding. When are you coming to Australia? You wanna go to Australia? I'm down. Let's go. <laughs> What's your girl's favorite skate trick? Your dolphin trick. Yeah. Or the one that you, the one that was on your latest video, the one I told you I liked. You hopped on that thing and like the board like switched. Does that make sense? Her favorite trick is the one where I hopped on that thing and the board switched. <laughs> oh, she's talking about this trick. Are you planning on going to any other states? This year, if everything goes as planned, I'm going to Arizona, Nevada for Vegas, hopefully Ohio, New York again. That's all I have planned. She has a trip planned for like every month. What is one thing you hate about Brian? Oh. What? Are you serious? I hate that he farts constantly. You're disgusting. There's girls out there getting like cheated on and you're worried about me farting. Next question, they asked one thing. Okay. Y'all fuck with Soldier Boy? <laughs> she brings Soldier Boy? How long have you guys been together? You don't even know? Yeah, I do. This month, it's eight months. Yeah. This guy asked, would you rather quit skating or never use social media again? I don't know. I'm on my Instagram like 24-7, checking every little number and... Yes. Mm, honestly? I think I'd rather quit skating. <laughs> I swear. Are you serious? Yeah. I don't know. That's a hard one. I know. Imagine I chose social media, so I continue skating, and then in like six months, I like break my leg, and I can't skate. What am I supposed to do while I'm in bed? All right, this guy asked who's older. I'm 19. And I'm 21. Why do you have to say it like that? She hates it. <laughs> That's something else I hate, but I'm over it. Are you crying? No, I'm not. You're crying. crying. This dude said Adidas or Nike, and she's legit. Wearing Nikes with Adidas joggers right now. So what do you think is better, Adidas or Nike? Adidas. Brian! <laughs> Go get that. So I'm super hyped because I just got this new camera lens in the mail a couple days ago. Yeah, no, it's just a cup with some water in it that I bought off Amazon for like $10 and I literally only bought it just so I can make you guys think that I actually did get a new lens because I really want a new lens, but I just can't afford it right now and I should have used the money that I spent on this to actually go towards a new lens. But I didn't, so now I'm stuck with this cup that I'm probably never gonna use again. But the other day, I was on Instagram and you guys remember that video where I asked 100 companies to sponsor me? Well, if you guys watched that video, then you would know that only three companies replied or at least that's what I thought. Well, I kind of forgot that I had to use two Instagram accounts because I got banned from sending DMs on my first one. So I was on my other Instagram account and I was looking through my messages and I found this in my DMs. And that was also one of the companies that I completely forgot that I messaged as a joke. So you guys could probably imagine how confused I was when I saw their name in my phone. And something else that I also came across the other day was this DVD, Tony Hawk's Trick Tips Volume 3. Now, some of you might know why this is such a big deal to me. If you don't, let's take a look at the back. Obviously, it's just Tony Hawk and Mike Valley doing trick tips on like 20 tricks. But if you look at the fourth trick in the street skating category, you'll see that it says right there on the fourth trick down, Late Shove It. This is literally the DVD that taught me Late Shoves. Late Shove It. A Late Shove It is an ollie and then a shove it on the way down from the ollie. I'm pretty sure I've told you guys before that I learned late shoves from a Tony Hawk trick tip when I was super small, but I just didn't know that I still had the DVD. I was literally like eight or nine years old, just in my front driveway, just trying my hardest to learn late shoves, and I was actually doing them, but they just weren't rotating all the way. They were kind of landing like 90 degrees. But if you think about it, it's crazy because that's really where it all started. Like late shoves, one of my favorite tricks now. I do them all the time. A lot of people, when they hear my name, they think of late shoves, and it's crazy to think if I never had this DVD right here, I probably would have never learned late shoves. I mean, I doubt the video was anything special. I'm pretty sure there's a version here on YouTube. I think Tony Hawk was literally just going step by step showing how to do a late shove, but I don't know why eight year old me just thought that trick looked so sick. As you level out your ollie, kick your back foot towards your toes and start the board spinning. It's all like old school tricks too, like ollie norse and finger flips. Pressure flips are on here too, maybe that's why I like doing pressure flips so much. So yeah, I mean technically I was learning late shoves at like eight or nine years old, but I didn't really actually start getting the hang of them until I was like 14 or 15. And now I literally just don't stop doing them, so if you guys aren't a fan of late shoves, you can thank Tony Hawk for that. But I recently just made a second YouTube channel, so if you guys want to check it out, it'll be in the top of the description. It's just called More Brand or Net. I might change the name later or something, but I'm thinking about making my first video for that channel next week, so I'm excited for that. But just be prepared because there's not going to be any skateboarding on the new channel, so if you guys just want to see skateboarding, 
skateboarding, don't go subscribe to the new one. Just stay here. Because I'm still gonna be posting skateboarding videos here, of course, on this channel, but just the new channel. That channel is just gonna be me, just trying something new and different. I can barely swim, I got like doggy paddle. You left your hat. Oh my god, I forgot I had a hat on. <laughs> 